Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy, and if you're a return subscriber, welcome back. Um, so something happened here. <laughs> yeah, I may look a little bit different to some of you if you haven't seen my last video, but I dyed my hair and <laughs> Like, I absolutely love it. I love it so much, but like, what was I thinking? Like, who just dyes their hair like a luminous orange? Like, it's, I've had one shower so far and it has gotten quite light at the root, uh, just because I have bleach bleach blonde underneath this trying to keep true. But like, it's like, I'm like a traffic cone. I am a traffic cone. I'm feeling myself with this hair. And that is self-confidence. You gotta be confident. And I am confident with this hair. And my bun is actually pretty good too. Look at that. A wee pineapple. Tam oh, hello, Miss Popular. Oh. What's a wee pineapple out of? You know, a wee pineapple. Say in your head what is it it's out of? It's out of a movie. Wild Child. Yes. You know the one the hairdresser and he's like playing with her hair? No. Okay, moving on. So if you want to see me create a full face of makeup using TikTok make packs, just keep on watching. Okay, I'm so scared. So the first hack I've actually personally tried before, um, but I wanted to try it again for you guys to see. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Then take some setting spray, it could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look and it's gonna stay on 24 7 and it's not gonna crease she sounds pretty confident in that that this is gonna go well so i've tried this once but i said i wanted to try it again for you guys and um, so let's just follow the steps okay so she says moisturize first i'm just using the garnier skin active rose soothing 48 hour moisturizer my friend jade got me this and i love it so much Okay, so now we're trying to lose some powder and dab it all over my face, but not too much. So I'm going to use the Carter Beauty Translucent Powder. It's very affordable. And just dust it all over my face. Oh, fuck, that is too much. Ah, my top! Oh my god, why am I such a dirty bitch? I can't have anything nice. Oh, and don't worry about my brows. I'm going to do them off camera because they are fucked up. For some reason, I thought it'd be cool or funny or an attempt at TikTok success, but it failed um, to shave off the ends of my eyebrows. Yeah, like it's good in the sense of makeup, I have more lip space, because usually my brows would come down here, like they, they would go like that, but now I draw them out, but they're starting to grow back, and I don't know if I want to shave them again, do you know what I mean? I might just let them grow back. Then take setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Me with the gold light in it. So cool. Okay, I've just zoomed in a bit there. Okay, so I'm going in with the Formar Double Radiance Primer. If you know me, this is my everything. Feels so weird putting a liquid over like powder. Okay, so then she said, then just put on your foundation and see what happens. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Longwear Eliminating Foundation. Okay, coverage is pretty good so far. I didn't realize how dark my tan was. By the way, I'm wearing the Via Bell tan and it is amazing. I actually have a tan review of that. I will link it up here. Let's just say my opinions changed. I don't know. I don't know if this literally looks the exact same as it normally would, if it looks worse or if it looks better. Like it's not terrible, it's just not immaculate oh that's a big word and um, yeah it's no just put your normal primer on foundation and add that so much quicker okay so i'm gonna move over here and i'm gonna put up the next one i'm gonna show you this life-changing facelift concealer hack this is how i used to do my concealer triangle under the eye it's a very bright very dramatic concealer everywhere 
With this technique, you strategically place it on the inner and outer corner of the eye going upwards, and this will lift the face. If you have dark circles, just use a color corrector before your concealer. This uses less product, so it looks more natural, but you can use it for everyday or dramatic looks. I always set my concealer with a powder just to make sure that nothing creases. This is literally a facelift without the surgery, and your face will be snatched. Okay, sis, if you say so. Um, okay, so let's just try. She said this is more natural. I am the furthest thing from natural when it comes to makeup. She placed it there. Then she placed it going straight up. She placed it on her nose. And then going up here. Okay, that is probably the least amount of concealer I've ever used in my life. Okay. So that is that side, and that's that side. That's my ugly side, anyway. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think that was a flop. I don't actually personally see a difference. Maybe I will when I'm editing. I might see a difference, but currently, no. Okay. So she just said she powders. So I'm just gonna go in with that. I was powdering where I concealed. Okay. So next up. Oh shite, I need to do my brows. Okay, I'm gonna pop off camera and do my brows and I'll be back. Okay, so that is the brows done and they're quite on fleek if I do say so myself. Um, so I'm just gonna do my bronzer and blusher real quick here. I'm just gonna use the Apollo palette from Carter Beauty. It's just this little quad. And then the Fleur Mar Touch Away Prop Blush Insane. Okay, so that is my bronzer and my blush all done, and I love it. Okay, so now we're on to the next one. How to reverse nose contour. Take a triangle sponge with baking powder on, draw a line down the side of the nose, take a warm blusher and drag down the center. Dust and blend. Add two spots of highlight. Add bronzer here, and voila. Okay, okay, so first off, you take this little sponge and some baking powder. Oh my god, I've never used one of these yolks. I'm going, I'm sorry, I just need to look in the mirror. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a warm blush and drag it all the way down. Oh god. Oh my god, it looks like I'm sunburned. Okay, so now she says dust and blend. So she said to add two spots of highlight, one here and one there. So the highlight I'm going in with is Ofra Rodeo Drive, the one and only. And um, I'm just putting it on the two dots. Oh God. Then she said put a bit of bronzer underneath. What? I literally look like a who from Whoville. Okay, I love blush on the nose and all, but that is just too extreme. Okay, so I don't really like that. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of bronzer just beside it. It's too much of like a jump from like nothing to blush. Like it's not terrible if you're into like a blushy kind of nose, which I am, but I'd still put a little bit of contour on the side. She doesn't include that in the video, but I just did. Okay, so the next hack actually has music in it, so I'm not gonna play the audio, but I will read out what's happening. I'll still insert it here. Makeup hack, fake freckles. Setting spray and bronzer. Put your setting spray in like a little thing with some bronzer. Scrape it in, and then, oh no. Okay. So from that video you've probably seen what's about to go down and I'm quite scared. Okay, they look beautiful on her, but I'm not her. Okay, I'm so scared for this because like, I feel like if this fucks up, like my whole face would be fucked up. Okay, so she sprayed set and spray in. Did she? Two, three. And she scraped the bronzer in. I'm gonna zoom in for this. Hello. Where is it going? Okay, I need to put make more of a concoction here. Okay. <gasps> oh 
What the fuck? Oh my lordy, what is going on? Oh fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually so tall. What the hell was that about? My fucking table's destroyed. I can't believe that just happened, I really can't. Oh my god, I've blended in though. Okay. I'm sorry, am I just really bad at flicking a brush or am I doing something wrong? Okay. I've I'm I've no words. I have genuinely no words. Like what am I meant to do now? Do I wait have to dry and then pat them in or something? I think that's all I'll do guys. Oh my god, like it actually I have a feeling that this will actually look natural because they're so randomly scattered. Oh shit. While we're waiting. I might do my highlighter really quick. If you haven't tried Ofra highlighters, you are missing out big. I feel like that's dried in, so now I'm going to try and buff that in. Still looks a bit silly in some places, but I feel like if I buff it all away, it kind of just defeats the TikTok, so I feel like we should just leave it at that. I love freckles. I wish I had freckles like all the time. It's mad that like, all, I know I, I'm not speaking about myself because I don't have freckles. A lot of people would slag people that have freckles, slag people that wear glasses. Now you have just people drawing on freckles and getting fake glasses. It's like that uh, TikToks and uh, what was the song? It's like, funny how haters turn into my fans or something like that. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna be doing my eyeshadow off camera because I'm not focusing on eyeshadow today. And I couldn't actually find any good TikTok hacks to do with eyeshadow, so I said I'd just skip it and in the future if I wanted to do another testing TikTok hacks, I could do it more based around eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna be going in with the So Su Hot Fire Remastered. We've only had this a few weeks. Um, I use it for my uh, eyebrows actually. Oh, fucking hell. Um, I'm just going to do a light brown going into a darker brown, nothing intense. I'm going to be getting inspiration from, is it Alexa Diami? You know, this look. I'm not going to do like the same kind of shadow wing or anything. I just want the same shape and lift of the eye. Okay, so I don't want to waste my battery. So I'm just going to jump off, do the shadow, and then I'll be back on to do the eyeliner hack. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow done. I've just done like quite gentle, smoky eye. So the next TikTok actually involves the cell tape here. So I said I'll just leave it there. So I'm gonna pop up the next TikTok here, but it has music in it, so I'll just talk you through it. Uh, when I first seen this, I was like, oh, here we go again. I've been doing this since I was literally like 13. But then they done something else. I'll just let the video explain for itself. So I'll learn her hack. Put the cell tape here. But then she's putting it on top as well. What? I just don't know if this is gonna work or not. Okay. Okay, let's just try it. <laughs> I know I fucked up in the inner corner, but I'll fix that. <laughs> eh, nothing special that would just, no. Mm, no. So I'm just going to fix it. Okay, so before I do the next little hack, I'm just gonna put a bit of brownie blacky smokes under my eye. Okay, <laughs> so that is the eyes done. They actually look We'll see when the lashes and all are on. But the next hack is actually one that I've, I've never done it before and I'm actually petrified to do it because this could make the look or completely break it. So this one also has music in it so I can't play it out loud but I will tell you what's going on obviously. Um, but it is... <laughs> I'm just gonna listen to the song while I listen to this video. It's hilarious because it just doesn't match. I just want you to like know the song in your head so you can just picture how funny it is that just doesn't match. Okay, that's 
while I can play it before it gets copyright. Okay, I'll just insert it over here. Want to line your inner corner, but can't do it? Use a bobby pin. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It, yeah, it looks good on her, but I really don't know what to think. Oh, here. Why is that not working for me? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna fall off. My fucking nose is obviously too big. I'm gonna have to work really fast because it like wants to come off really bad. And someone else tried this at home and tell me if the body pin stays on your nose or is there something wrong with my nose and it just won't clamp. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that before I do something I will regret. Okay, so they're certainly not even, but they could be a lot worse. I don't think that trick worked whatsoever. I actually used the bobby pin on my natural skin earlier and it did stay and it was like pulling it in and I could see how it would work but now that I have my foundation on it just kept sliding so maybe it just needs like something more to grip onto maybe so I'm gonna try that maybe do eyes first. Okay so the next one I'm quite scared for because it as I said before, this could end really badly. It just could look really stupid, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna pop it up here. If you want the cat eye look, try this. Start with false last strips that flare out at the end. And then here's where it makes a big difference. Instead of gluing it on your lash line, glue it a little bit above and then leave a little gap in between, especially at the ends. And then fill in the gap with liquid eyeliner. And then continue to draw in your winged eyeliner, but just at the end of your eyes and make sure to flick it up. Okay, so we've already done that bit. So what we're going to be doing from this TikTok is sticking the lash on, but not sticking it actually to the end of our lash line up more and then fill it in. So it's meant to be like the cat eye look, which I think will go really well with this eye look. It just sticks it down normally, kind of. Not as close as usual. Usually you put it in the inner corner, kind of. Because this is going to be flaring out, you need to bring it out a bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to be going back in with my liner, making sure everything is nice and blended into each other and that like it doesn't look like I've stuck my eyelash halfway up my eye. So I'm just going in here, making sure that it's pitch black and coating these lashes as well, uh, with my natural lashes with the liner. Just so they blend in more and kind of brush them into each other. I do this all the time. Okay, that actually looks pretty damn good. Um, I don't know, you can probably obviously see that they are stuck up, but definitely for photos, it looks good. Okay, so the eyes, I'm actually really, really happy with the eyes. I love the like elongated lift. Is that the right word? Elongated? Okay, so my actual camera is about to die, so I may get a move on. So next up is lips. So I'm just gonna insert the TikTok here. Many people think I've had lip fillers, but what I actually did was learning how to contour them. And today I'm gonna show you. First, I use a lip scrub to smooth and plump my lips. Then I take a foundation brush to even out the color and create a base for the lip liner. Then I use a contour stick to create a shade around my lips, which will make them appear fuller. I start by slightly overlining my cupid's bow, but going down to the outer corner, I try to keep it close to my lip line. Again, I overline just the center of my lower lip. With the same liner, I'm filling in the outer corners. I take a darker lip liner and apply it again just in the outer corners. Using a nude lipstick, I'm blending in the lip liner. Then I take a lighter shade to create an ombre effect. With an even lighter shade, I highlight the center of my lip. Finishing by adding a little bit of white or clear gloss in the center and voila no fillers needed Okay, she is fucking beautiful Um. okay, so we're gonna try that. I overline my lips quite a lot I like big lips. So this is actually quite intriguing I know the kind of concept of like the lighter in the center But she goes to a whole new extreme with this by doing like another lighter and then a gloss so Let's give it a go. Okay, so she said use a lip scrub. So I'm just gonna be using a Jeffree Star lip scrub. If you haven't tried the Jeffree Star lip scrubs, you are missing out big. I'm like 14 year old as well, but they last months. I've had mine for like nine months and it's not even halfway gone. Okay, so then she said to go back in with your foundation brush and this is giving like a base to put the color on. Then she put like a contour stick under here. 
So I'm just putting the Socio contour stick in the shade dark underneath here, as she says to do. So she said she slightly overlines her cubes, but then stays as close to her lip line as possible. And the same with here, but then comes bigger there. Okay, so now we're going on to a darker lip liner. Okay, so a darker lip liner just in the outer corners again. Okay, so now we're going on to the lipsticks. So I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lips from Morphe. I got these a few days ago, I haven't tried them yet. But I am very familiar with the shades because I'm looking over there and I have like so many. Okay, so she said to go in with a dark nude, then in the center, go in with a lighter nude, then go in with a lighter nude, and then go in with a clear gloss. I'm gonna start with my all time favorite Jeffree Star Liquid Lip, and it is in the shade Leo. Oh, it's just the nicest colour ever. I'm gonna zoom you in a bit. Such a beautiful colour. My lips actually look huge already, simply just from the lip lining. Lip line? The lip liner. So now I'm gonna go in with mannequin. I actually have four mannequins, I think. I'm just so bold. I might give my sister one of them though, but she quite likes the shade. So mannequin is like that. Sorry, I don't think I showed you what Leo's what she was. So that one's Leo, that's mannequin, it's a good bit lighter. So I'm going to pop that on the centre, then just get my clean finger and just tap. Okay so the next step is to add a lighter nude, but I don't want to add a lighter nude, instead I'm going to try a little trick that I've seen Mother Mitchell does, he adds white on top of like a nude to lighten it. So I'm just gonna add a bit of Drug Lord, just to the very, very center, just the smallest bit. Okay, so far they're looking massive. Then she said to add white or clear gloss in the center and then you have big ass lips. So I wanna go in with First Impressions Lip Gloss by Morphe and Jeffree Star. Haven't tried this yet. I feel, I think this is actually exclusive to Morphe. Gloss definitely makes your lips look so bigger. Whoa. Okay, so we have one last hack. And it's the sort of one that like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell if it works or not. And that is the setting spray. So I'm just gonna pop the video up here and you can I really don't know what to think about it, but I thought it was like quite unusual, so we may as well try it. Makeup hack. Some of you might hate me for this. That's okay. Let's talk about setting spray. I've tried everything. 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 And my favorite, absolute favorite, is this tanning spray for your face. This is a Saint Tropez bronzing water face mist. It lasts all day. Or night. It like ties all the colors of my face when I'm done doing my makeup together. And it's like sticky and it lasts all day on my face. Seals my makeup in for the night. Anything I want to do, I'm good. Almost any tanning spray works. You're welcome. Okay. So she swears by tanning water as a setting spray. So I have the Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Wonder Water in the shade medium to dark. I'm scared. I really hope it doesn't lift my lashes or fuck this up. I wonder like, does your makeup go darker if you use this, like over a few hours? Well, I guess we'll never know because it's literally one o'clock in the morning and I have to go to bed. <sighs> okay, looking glowy so far, but we'll see how it dries down. I need to get a fan. I want a sister's fan, like a James Charles sister's fan. Okay, so I'm actually not mad about that as a sentence, bro. Okay, this could be a new thing. Because usually when I spray my sentence sprays, it just kind of melts it all into place. But then it just looks the same kind of after. But that actually has left me with a proper, proper glow and I can see, like I'm well more glowier than before. Mm. I'd recommend everyone try that actually. Okay, so final thoughts. So first up we don't like the foundation with all this shit before. Mm, no. I wouldn't say, oh you have to try this. Like it wasn't anything spectacular, it wasn't terrible. But it's a lot 
of steps to kind of get the exact same base I normally would get. So, um, oh god, what a horrible noise! Beep. <laughs> um, the facelift concealer hack with the concealer. I honestly don't think that worked at all. Then the reverse nose contour. I think that did definitely work. I think I just put a little bit too much blush on. And the only thing I'd change is I would warm up the sides of my nose with bronzer, which she didn't do. Then there is the fake freckles. <laughs> I know we fucked up with the fake freckles, but the, like the look right now I think is absolutely beautiful. They look really, really natural because they're in places that like, I wouldn't just like say if you were drawing freckles on, you wouldn't put them there. And that's what makes them look natural. But they're just randomly scattered. See me my nose as well there. Randomly everywhere. So I highly would recommend that. Just make sure you blend it in when it's dried with your foundation brush and it makes them look really, really natural. Next is the eyeliner hack. Um. I guess it wasn't a complete flop. If you are new to eyeliner, I would recommend it because you can see what shape you're gonna get. And then like when you take it off, you just fix up where you want to. Um, for someone who can do eyeliner quite easily, um, I wouldn't reach to do that all the time. Um, but it was fun to try it. It wasn't like a complete flop. Next is the inner corner. So, um, you just can decide that yourselves, as I said, to try it out on your face. Because I definitely did, I tried it when I had no makeup on and it pinched it properly and I was like, this is going to be so easy. But then when I had foundation on, it kept sliding. So if you do eyes first, I would highly recommend you try that. And it definitely did work. Even when it only pinched me a tiny bit, I had more of an easy flat surface to do it on. I've only tried this once before. And I didn't even get to take a picture or anything because they were completely uneven. They were disgusting. But like I'm really, really impressed with this. It's a completely new look for me and I'm kind of living for it. So next is the lips. The lips I'd highly recommend. It's a lot of steps just for a lip like this. But I, it's not a flop. It worked really, really well. But I personally would just recommend dark brown lip liner dark brown lip, then one colour in the centre. I wouldn't be using three different ones and then a gloss if you want one. I don't usually wear a gloss, so I'd usually just do the steps beforehand. And with her putting the bronzer on the lip, I have done that for years. I think Kim Kardashian done it like years ago. I've done it ever since then. Um, so yeah, I would really highly recommend that. It just gives like a shadow that like it looks like you have a bigger lip. But it was a really, really good um, hack. Um, and then the setting spray, I think the setting spray actually turned out lovely, like I'm so so glowy and I'm like You may think on the camera that like oh you were glowy beforehand, but well, I can see in the mirror here because there is a difference So guys that is the completed testing TikTok makeup hacks. I really really hope you liked this video You just had to laugh, learn some things just some entertainment I suppose and um, if you really really like this I can do another one in the future I'm planning on doing another TikTok hacks but not for makeup a different one which will maybe be all next week or the week after so that's exciting and I really hope you like it but if you want to see another TikTok makeup one just let me know and I'll definitely do it in the future because there were so many more ones I wanted to do but I'd already picked my face. So I really, really hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification every time I upload. So I hope you all stay safe, stay kind and I will see you in the next one. Bye!